Hello and welcome. In this video, uh, we're going to look at, at how to write an 8051 assembly language program to read the contents of uh, port 2, P2, and display the contents to port 1, P1. Here's a picture of a physical AT, AT 89S52 um, and this is port 1, P1, port 2, P2 and um, we're going to connect 8 LEDs to P1 and 8 switches to P2. So physically that is how it would look. Now this is the AD SIM 51 uh, software and on this side you have your port input output ports panel and I'm going to focus on uh, P, uh, P1 and P2 which is connected to the LEDs and switches here alright and I'm, I'm going to extract this uh, this part here and this part here and and so this is port 1 which is connected to the LEDs here these white little boxes represent the LEDs and port 2 is connected to these uh, virtual switches so port 2 to the switches. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, source code, the program. And so, as before, we're going to start at location 00H. Uh, H stands for hexa. Notice this time I'm using lowercase. And ORG is also in lowercase. Uh, just a reminder ORG here stands for origin. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that uh, instead of using a mixture of upper and lowercase, you could totally use lowercase altogether. And the first line of the uh, program begin, uh, starts with the word begin. Again, everything is in lowercase with the colon. And the first instruction is MOV P1 comma P2. Uh, notice the uh, mnemonic MOV is in lowercase and uh, this instruction will actually copy the contents stored in P2 that's happened to be the switches and copy it to P1 all right that's the function of this uh, first instruction the next instruction is a JMP begin you would have by now guessed JMP stands for jump J U M P jump the question is jump to where here it says jump to begin location uh, begin which is here so the program will loop back to this point here and it will do this it will be in an endless loop now um, finally, this part here, END, is the directive, um, a program directive, END. Uh, this program will never get to this point because this is in an endless loop. Okay, so we're back into the uh, ED SIN51 uh, software and um, I'm going to type in the program that we discussed earlier. So we tap twice here. Uh, so it's ORG or in lowercase this time 00H. Uh, enter and it's begin. So oops, and it's begin and then tap. Uh, it's MOV. Uh, okay, you can use uppercase, you can use lowercase. Um, so tap MOV 
Oh no, so it's JMP, sorry, JMP begin. So that will go, this will go back to this uh, location here. Then enter END, the directive, the end directive. Uh, like I said in the discussion earlier, it will never get to this point with this program. Now, before we can execute this, we need to turn this into machine code or the hex code. So we need to assemble this uh, code here, this source code. So we go to this, uh, we go to this button here. All right. So we're going to click on it and it's assemble it. How do I know? If you look at the code memory, you see the uh, hex code. And let me try to zoom in. All right, so you can see the hex code here. Oops, it's supposed to be out. Okay, so now um, we can run this program. Let me just take this out. Okay, so we're going to click on run. Um, right, let's get to this point here. This, these are the LEDs and these are the switches. Now, in my previous video on the um, on uh, the LEDs, I said that white is off. Actually, that is incorrect. Uh, I'll explain that uh, in another video, but uh, white is actually off. Alright, so let me just... Uh, these are the uh, switches here. So let me click on one of them. Let me click on zero, switch zero. And it's red. So this is a red LED. And this one, if I click on it, it's yellow. So this is a yellow LED, it's on. So these two are on. So two is green, it's a green LED. And red. And four is yellow. And five, you guessed it. It's green, so it's repeating itself. So this should be, six should be red. And then this switch seven is yellow. So these are, these LEDs are now on. So, and if to switch it off, you just click it again. All right, so I'm just going to switch off the alternative uh, LED. So, all right, you can play around uh, with these switches. So uh, remember, white color is off, and if it's colored like yellow, red, and green, it's on. Now, uh, before I uh, finish with this thing, let me just pause this thing. All right, uh, let me let me just hit this pause button here. It will pause, and then um, if I then do a uh, reset, all right, here. Okay, so it's back to the uh, just the source code. Now, there's one other feature that I want to show you. Is uh, let's say if let's say I want to put in the uh, comments so this is to, uh, I would say uh, oh sorry um, semicolon uh, copy the contents of, uh, of p2 to p1 and then you come to the next line and say uh, go back to begin. Now notice this thing is now shifted to the right hand side. So you use this slider here to get back. Now if you find this area restrictive and you want more space, uh, what you could do is you could, if you notice this 
little button here. It says U. That actually stands for unlock. All right. Um, so if I were to click on this, oops, it actually, another Windows a window actually uh, appears, and you can see that a lot more space here, and you can. Um, go ahead and, and type and you can see the entire contents of what you type without using the slider uh, to move it back and forth. Now to to get it back to the original position all you need to do is click on this X here and you're back. So that might be a useful feature that you might want to consider using. Okay, um, that's about it. Um, experiment with the code, play around with it. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.